And I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself in Navajo first. Okay. So, yat eb slen a che Norman kari ay bigay dasy jinne. My deskis nasno o zay tachi ni basis chin tachi dasy che do o si dasy nala dalay denensle. Aro trat nas dasy sanje dasy ta na niza chapter house holyende aro aro nashasto. Okay. Um, do you want me to do it in English? Yeah, if you could. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Norman Kayabigay, and I just introduced myself in Navajo, and um, that's normally what we do when we go when I go to meetings, just to see who all are your relatives, clan wise. So, um, my first clan, my mom is a, a, a Coyote Pass people of the Hamas clan, uh, and then my dad is a Red running into the water of the Hopi clan. And then my grandfather, um, maternal, is um, a, a red, red water running into, uh, was it the red water into the river clan? And then my um, Anali, which is my dad's dad, my paternal uh, dad, is a, a salt clan. And, and I just said that I'm a chapter president at Naniza chapter. And this is my third term. I just got reelected again in January. So that's who I am. That's who, who I work for. Thank you. Okay. Um, so for our students, especially students who are 18 and you know getting older, uh, why is it important for them to register at their chapter house? It's important that they register not only when they're 18, but um, it's best to do that because you know that there's a lot of assistance through the chapter. And for us, our chapter, and each chapter is different. There's 110 chapters out there. So uh, depending on you know where you want to register, you can register any place and, and, um, and vote there. But we, it's, we recommend you that, that you register at a chapter when you turn 18 so you can get funds, scholarships that you can that will help you out through college. And um, for us, um, the way, like I said, it, chapters are different. So um, because that if you register there, if your parents are registered at a chapter, you can get assistance through them uh, when you haven't reached 18 yet. So that's kind of how important it is that you register at the age of 18. And there's a, a each chapter has a, a limit of how long you had to be their member. Like for us, you had to be a member. You register as soon as you turn 18 and then um, it's three months you have to be a registered member to get assistance. So in this case, you know, if you're looking for scholarship, um, you have to do that before, so. Okay. Uh, what scholarships are available through your chapter house or kind of what does that process look like? Um, each year, each chapter uh, gets um, funds from the nation, uh, which is Wonder Rock. And uh, depending on how, um, it's kind of how a system works is, Okay, um, they, they go by voters. Okay, depends on how many voters you have. And then after that, how, many, how much fun is, they, they call it 50-50. So let's say, you know, it depends on your voters if you, and then depends on the population in your area also too, um, of how many um, money you're trying to get here. So how much they deserve. You know, I can take a number, let's say, um, let's say the chapter gets, a, um, let's just throw a number here, a thousand dollars. Okay. So each chapter, or not a thousand dollars, a million dollars. Okay. So each chapter is going to get divided. Um, okay. The 500,000, the first loan gets, goes through the chapters, 110 chapters, like I said evenly okay 
and it, it just depends on, um, you know, on that part, how much 150 would split up 100 between 110. The second 100, uh, the 50,000 is divided by your voters. So the more voters you have, the more money you can get in the second pot. So that's how the 50-50 is. So each fiscal year, which is in October, we start from October to October 1st is our fiscal year. So that's when all the monies through the scholarship, we get, we get all that funding. Um, and this year we didn't get that much because the power plants had closed down, you know, out in page. So that's where we get all the funding from. Um, so some of the money that, that, that the scholarship gets. So that's where all the funding comes in. Um, how do students apply for these scholarships or do you have to apply? Yeah, you have to apply. Um, it, we go by the fire management system. The, it, we call it FMS. Okay. So first of all, you have to, and it's online too. You can get the application online. So there's a checklist that we have that we produce. And you have to have your CIB. You have to have, you know, um, uh, an enrollment to the college, at least a transcript or, or um, something, you know, that's saying that you're enrolled in it. Um, and then um, all the checklists that, that's on there. So you turn all that in, but the, the catch is here is if you're 17, let's say you're 17, still up until August, you had to go, all this paperwork has to be done by your parents, your guardian, I should say, your guardian. See, that's the catch. If you're 18 before August, and this is where the catch is. If you're 18 before August, you have to register yourself as soon as you turn 18. And then we, we give you that break because you just have turned 18, 18 in August. And you don't have to wait for that three month period, you know, to get help from unless you want to wait until the springtime then you can get your funding because you, you know you'll you'll wait your three months and you can apply for stuff like that 